Hello everyone. I'd like to discuss a couple of ways to track and trade the price of oil without having to get directly involved in the futures market. In particular I'd like to talk about the USO fund and explain why for several months now it continues to be a very poor way to speculate on oil finding a bottom. First some background. I'll put some links to more detailed info in the more info column next to the video so if anything here goes over your head then please take a look in there. USO United States Oil is an ETF an exchange traded fund which uses futures contracts to track the price of oil. In brief USO buys the near month contract and then rolls the position out when the contract comes close to expiry. Now let me explain that process. Let's say that I buy futures contracts for oil with March expiry at a price of I don't know $35. Now this gives me the right to take delivery of crude oil at that price when the contract expires. Now USO don't have the facilities or inclination to take delivery of oil. Neither do I. Neither do the majority of traders in oil futures. Many oil futures are settled for cash instead of oil. The method used by USO and other similar funds such as OIL oil, to keep a continuing position in the oil price is to roll out the contracts to the next month when the contract uh, for the current month is close to its expiry date. Now this sounds complex but it isn't. So that contract to buy oil at $35 in March that we talked about might be worth say $38 when we come to roll it out. As I don't know maybe short-term oil prices are volatile and there have been many bounces and false starts along the way during oil's incredible collapse since July of last year. So, you know, 35 to 38, perfectly feasible. Now that would be great. That would be a $3 profit for the USO fund. So far, so good. However, there is a point I would like to explain in detail for you, as it is little understood by most investors currently buying USO in hopes of timing a bottom in oil. The thorn in USO's side goes by the name of Contango. C-O-N-T-A-N-G-O -N Contango. And this simply means that the futures contract price for oil in future months, several months out, is higher than the current month. A steep Contango when the futures prices for several months out are much much higher than the current month is killing USO's value as a proxy for the long oil at the moment. So in other words if people want to buy oil long some days oil will go up and USO will hardly move or uh, particularly when USO rolls out its contract um, they see terrible losses um, so much so that recently USO has hit a new low even though the oil price hasn't. Anyway, a steep contango is killing USO's value. Now bear with me on this explanation. I'm sure it's worth the effort if you're interested in understanding USO's recent abysmal performance. Okay, so as there is speculation that oil prices will rise dramatically in future, I don't know, due to maybe further OPEC cuts, a collapse in the dollar, or simply a technical rebound from an extremely hammered price. The price of contracts for say April are considerably higher than they are for March. May is higher again and so on further out over coming months. Now I'm not going to make a prediction on oil prices here and I'd like to ignore for the sake of factual analysis over guesswork any inference that oil is going to be higher in several months just because oil traders are bidding up the price for the futures. Uh, let's just accept that they are and stick to looking at USO's position for the purpose of this video. Okay, well let's get to the meat of this situation. 
So USO sold those contracts for 38, but they must pay, say, 42 for the next month contracts. As the fund only has the money provided by investors, their funds are finite, and they are pretty much 100% invested in oil futures all the time. So it doesn't take a genius to see that they can only they can buy much less oil at forty two dollars for the next month contract than they had when they held the thirty five dollar contract. So they sell for thirty five, but they have to buy at forty using a fixed amount of cash. The fund makes a loss, and this is reflected in the price of the fund. Note that the price of the fund is a function of the financial position of the fund. The idea of it tracking oil prices is only the intent of the fund. In reality, it has to operate in the market and try as best it can to fulfil that goal. So, anyway, uh, with that situation, the fund has less oil when the contracts are rolled out into Steep Contango. So each share of the fund represents less oil following the rollout. And that is why the performance of the USO fund has been so piss poor, and why it has been the short sale of choice for oil traders following the genuine collapse of oil prices down over the last half year or so. I first realised the contango problem in early 2007, when oil took off for the moon following a deep collapse from the end of 2006. Oil skyrocketed, but USO took ages to get anything like back into step with oil prices, much to the chagrin of frustrated USO investors.